To learn more about acid titration to help understand this video, we highly recommend you watch our video, The Simplest Explanation of Titration, for a simple but full understanding of acid titration. The link is in the description below this video. In this video, I'm just going to jump right into determining acid base strength just by looking at acid titration curves. Titration curves are formed on graphs with increasing pH on the y axis and increasing base titrant added on the x axis. An acid titration curve is characteristically sigmoidal, meaning S shaped. And remember, a low pH indicates a strong acid and a high pH indicates a strong base. There are four general acid titration curves. Determining acid base strength just by looking at titration curves is super simple. If titration starts at a low pH, it indicates a strong acid, and if it ends at a high pH, it indicates a strong base. A strong acid, strong base titration curve will have an equivalence point at neutral pH of 7, right in the middle of the pH scale because they have equivalent strengths. Like before, if titration starts at a low pH, it indicates a strong acid, just like on the previous titration curve, but if it ends at a low pH, it indicates a weak base. A strong acid, weak base titration curve will have an equivalence point below pH of 7, meaning it will have an equivalence point more in the acidic range because a strong acid will saturate the solution more with acid than a weak base will with base, pulling the pH of the equivalence point down to a lower pH. Now, if titration starts at a high pH, it indicates a weak acid. And if it ends at a low pH, it indicates a weak base, like we saw with the base on the top right curve. And like a strong acid, strong base titration at the top left, a weak acid, weak base titration will have an equivalence point at neutral pH of 7, right in the middle of the pH scale because they have equivalent strengths. And finally, if titration starts at a high pH, it indicates a weak acid, just like on the previous titration curve. And if it ends this time at a high pH, it indicates a strong base, like we saw with the base on the top left curve. A weak acid, strong base titration curve will have an equivalence point above pH of 7, meaning it will have an equivalence point more in the basic range, because a strong base will saturate the solution more with base than a weak acid will with acid, pulling the pH of the equivalence point up to a higher pH. So here's the four general types of acid titration curves again. Low pH start and high pH end indicate strong acid and strong base. Low pH start and low pH end indicate strong acid and weak base. High pH start and low pH end indicates weak acid and weak base. High pH start and high pH end indicates weak acid and strong base. Strong strong and weak weak acid titration curves both have equivalence points at pH of 7. Strong acid weak base has an equivalence point below pH of 7 in the acidic range. Weak acid strong base has an equivalence point above pH of 7 in the basic range. Simple as that.